Now, I know it's a divisional game. Hey, divisional rivalries, if anything. This was, as it turns out, it was a trap game. They got, they got outplayed, as Sean Payton said afterwards, in every facet of the game, including outcoached. This is probably what they needed. I am not worried about the Saints. They'll be fine. Uh, you should be worried. And here's the reason why. It's a couple of reasons. Number one, that left guard. I mean, I think it's Austin Pito. I think that's his name. And then Will Clapp was another. They gave him three sacks between them. They didn't protect. Drew Brees got sacked six times. That's some vulnerability there. That's number one. Number two, here's the deal. You can say they just took it for granted. Atlanta comes in the game one and seven. But these are the Atlanta Falcons. This is a team. This is the number one rivalry for New Orleans. You get up for this game. The fact that you did it in this particular situation, I don't give a damn what their record is. Who that nation, all that stuff. There's, not, there's very little things that they love more than beating up the Falcons. I'm telling you that right now. It matters to those folks. I was at the, at the Super Bowl last year for crying out loud between New England and, and L.A. in Atlanta. Let me tell you something. You had a whole bunch of people rolling in, the, in Atlanta wearing Saints jerseys, and you had a whole bunch of folks in Atlanta that had major, major, major problems. That stuff is real down there. That's number two. Number three, what have we said about the New Orleans Saints? And I know it's Kamara game back. He only had about four carries for about 24 yards, something like that. Mm -hmm. He'll get it going. Drew Brees was dipping and dunking. Couldn't make, only threw one pass for about 22 yards outside that. Wasn't really effective. Was missing throws. His timing was off, et cetera. We get all of that. But what is it that we say about New Orleans that we have to pay attention to? We believe in them because we believe that the road to the Super Bowl was going through New Orleans. That Mercedes-Benz don't. If it got to go through Lambeau Field, if it's got to go through San Francisco, I mean, where the hell do they play? I keep forgetting where they play because it ain't in San Francisco. It's, it's about Santa an hour. Clara. Santa, Santa Clara, Clara, right? Because I, I had to drive an hour in that yeah. damn traffic. It ain't San Francisco. You don't know where. You just don't know where the hell I'm going. It's a brand and new I, stadium. And I know I'm yeah. passing Google or whatever the hell yeah, yeah, is, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. That I know, all right, because I got stuck in that damn traffic. But I'm telling you right now, you got to go there. You have to go to Lambeau Field. Yeah. You have a problem. And that's why this is a big deal. It's not a matter of it being a regular season loss earlier on. It's a matter of right now when you know which teams are expected to be there competing for a berth to the Super Bowl, who has that home turf? matters in most situations. If you Lambeau Field, why does it matter? Because you're expecting a blizzard, okay? If you, and you got to deal with Aaron Rodgers in a blizzard. If you got New Orleans, you got to go to that dome and you're wondering about that. It's been done. L.A. did it last year, but it's not easy. If you've got to go with San Francisco with their defense and their running game, both, both components, which is real, mm -hmm. it's a problem. New Orleans losing this game puts them in line not to have home turf. And as a result, I think that's where it's called. Dan, can I ask you one thing? They've been the only sure bet we felt like this whole season. Obviously, we talk about parody and then yep. fell, but really, I'm not trying to be cliche. Yeah. Are they even a sure bet now at this point as a lock to the Super Bowl? No. Oh, no, not, not because the NFC, we came into this season saying this was going to be the best NFL season in a long time mm -hmm. because of the parity. So, no, they're not a lock. They're still one of the three or four best teams in the NFL. Stephen A took my points because two things could be true. This is a brutal loss for them mm -hmm. against the Falcons when it comes to home field advantage. On a night when Green Bay and Minnesota won, it is a brutal loss. That being said, it is not a loss that exposes them or – kind of shows their flaws or whatever. You know how many times Drew Brees and, and Sean Payton at home have scored less than 10 points? One. Yeah. Happened yesterday. Like, y y something happened yesterday that has never happened in their relationship mm -hmm. or time together. So that's why, like, they were just bad. They couldn't get off the field on third down. Lattimore went out for a, a little penalties. bit. They, 11 penalties. They couldn't stay on the field on third down offensively. So, yes, the, the movie. What do you chalk it up to? Jamie Foxx's yeah. movie. Any given Sunday. Sunday. Got it can, it. Well, you say Any, Jamie Foxx. I prefer to say Al Pacino. I, well, I really beaming. You know, That's no, no, what no, I mean. No, I'm just saying. I, mean, I, 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 listen, I always tease him about that. It's that, the NFL. LL, Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Let, my brother Bill Bellamy. Dennis Let's not Quay. forget him. Dennis Quay. Dennis Quay. Let's yeah. not forget these people. But, look, All right. but you talk about any given Sunday. This is what you look at. When I say it's just one of these freaky things, and Sean Payton's a great coach, Super Bowl winner, going to be in the Hall of Fame, like all these kind of things, and – and, and, like, the, all the penalties, right? Like, every single facet of the game. They were favored by 13 and a half. Yeah. yeah. They lost by 17. That is a swing of almost four touchdowns and a field goal. That's four – like, the swing between what we thought was going to happen and what happened, that – even in a freaky kind of NFL season, usually it's not a four-touchdown plus difference in what we thought. But three things. This is why Stephen A's point is important when it comes to home field because this is one of those games – 
where you go into week 17 of the NFL season and everyone's going to be talking about going, man, you remember that game they lost at home that they have to win this week to secure home field advantage, or maybe it won't even matter? Well, we think well, there's well, going to well, be a well, lot well, of hold on, hold, hold on, Max Dan. They have more than hold one on both of y'all. No, they have hold on, now, hold sure. on both of y'all. I'm going to go to your point to buffer my point even more. Repeatedly, you have lamented the fact that it's two different Saints teams, one that's at home and one that's on the road. Because the Saints team that shows up on the road, particularly in pivotal games, isn't the same as the one we customarily see in that dome in New Orleans. So now we amp that up. What are we talking about? If you go to Green Bay, you're talking about, but I'm not thinking about Minnesota because that's a dome, and even though it's a road game, it's still a it's dome. All address what you're saying. But what I'm saying is when you're talking about Green Bay, you're talking about inclement weather or freezing temperatures mm -hmm. and having to go up against Aaron Rodgers with improved defense. And if you're talking about going against San Francisco, we all know that when you look at New Orleans, even though we didn't suspect that they were susceptible to the run, they were susceptible to the run in the first half yeah. yesterday. But we look at them and we say, okay, you got to go up against a running game and you got to go up against an elite defense on the road. Those are two impediments. Right, let me address that. Let me address that. You know, Run the ball, stop the run. Can you do those things? If you can run the ball and you can stop the run, you can play on the road. And especially, obviously, it indicates that your defense is playing with passion up front. The Saints, as I have repeatedly mentioned over the last couple years, when I look at the dynamic offensive teams, the teams that are capable of putting up big points, the reason to like the Saints is among that group, they actually have a run defense. And because of Kamara, they can run the ball, not always between the tackles, but they can, they can move the ball on the ground. So I think they play on the road a little, like asking Drew Brees to be a game manager. He can do that on the road. I'm a little more optimistic on, in terms of their su potential success on the road, having seen what they did with Bridgewater in Drew Brees' absence than I was, say, last year. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.